Hello everybody, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Today we're on weekly 74 and I'm currently sat in a place called Annie's. Basically all they do is burgers, pretty much. I got some lovely pancakes. I can't remember what it's called. The Von Von, so there you go. Callum also has a Stein of cider. Is it nice though? Oh, it's lovely. I love Revlon. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Tuesday. I haven't like face vlogged at all today because yesterday was awful. Basically, long story short, I forgot my purse. I left it with my mum when I was at Cam's for a few days because it was our anniversary um, and I just forgot my purse and it made for a very hard time because I couldn't get any food at college and just... I just got ill from not eating because I couldn't afford to eat. I feel like people in the situation, not naming names because it's done now, could have been a little bit more helpful in that regard, but never mind. But yeah, yesterday I was just not in the mood to film anything. Um, all we did was get lunch from Annie's, uh, which is basically this burger shop um, that is in our town. They do loads of obscure burgers. I had one that had pancakes in with maple syrup and bacon. And Calum had one that was like really like meaty. He had a stein of cider. I just had a J2O or two um, because you know, I'm a basic bitch. I didn't feel like drinking on such an empty stomach. Ugh, my videos. Ugh. I hate uploading on my laptop because if it tries to like crash or anything, I have to like get up and freaking wiggle the mouse. It's a hard time. I'm currently uploading my March wrap up. Um, it should be going up in about 10 minutes. Um, it's just processing now. And processing on a 22 minute video will take about 10 minutes. So I'm just waiting for that to upload and while I do that I'm going to read some more of my current read which is the same as the end of last week. I didn't quite manage to get it finished. I am still making my way through Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I am currently on page 354 which is chapter 15. I don't have that long left. I will probably finish this or try to finish it tomorrow so that the third day of April and we're already a book gone so I'm really happy about that but I have 50 more pages to read of my 100 page count for today um, it's currently about 20 to 10 at night so I'm going to read for about half an hour or for however long it takes me to read these 50 pages I think half an hour maybe a little bit more because Cassie Clare's chapters go in 20s I've seen 20s 30 so I'll probably have to read uh, two and a bit chapters so I'll probably just end up reading the third chapter all the way through there's my little reading update for that I have no idea what I'm going to read next. I do have a TBR set out, but honestly, I can't remember where I put it. I think it's in my little bullet journal kind of thing. I've lost it, so I don't know where that's gone. Sorry that I haven't really vlogged much these last couple days. Um, I didn't really show you my tattoo either. I got a tattoo matching one with Tia, my sister, and Waverly. We both got one of the Skylar sisters. My sister got Eliza, I got Angelica, and uh, Waverly got Peggy. Um, but yeah, it's just pink. It is in this really weird healing state right now where it's all scabby and stuff because I've used two different types of goo um, to like try and heal it faster. But yeah, it's in this really weird healing process. I will be doing a video on my tattoo, maybe with Tia and Waverly in it. I'm not sure yet because Tia hasn't exactly been enthusiastic about filming. But I think I'm going to be filming a video either with them or not with them. I'll film it anyway regardless um, about Angelica once she's healed because she's not looking so cute. I didn't really update you last week at all and last week's vlog was very confusing. I do admit that I watched it back um, in the bath yesterday on double speed and I thought it was very confusing. I did so much in March and I feel like I vlogged none of it 
but that's a kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. I am about to read. It's 2210 now, so I'm going to read a bunch of uh, Clockwork Angel. No, Clockwork Prince. I always think I'm reading Clockwork Angel again because it was such a great book. I haven't got a video filmed or scheduled or anything for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to react to Ariana Grande's new song Monopoly. I was going to film it today, but then I got home and I was not in the mood because all that purse stuff and I just felt really ill. I'm only really starting to feel a bit better. I am a tired bean. Um, so be patient with me with vlogging and getting videos up. There's one uploading right now in actually five seconds there will be a wrap up going up. The views seem to be a bit down right now because I'm um, taking a bit longer to promo and uh, upload content and I'm really apologise but please watch my stuff because I'm getting stressed about it. <laughs> I'll probably talk to you again in the morning but I thought I would say hello, explain myself, why I haven't been vlogging, the whole purse situation, my tattoo and what I'm currently reading. I'm going to read 50 pages of this, just sit down and read 50 pages while I listen to some Animal Crossing rain sounds and then I will probably promo my video because that's the reason why the views are so low. <laughs> everybody and happy Wednesday. I am currently on my way to college. My voice is battling with the fucking busy main road again. Currently on my way to college. I decided to wear my uh, Grey's Anatomy hoodie because it's going to be warming up soon and probably will be one of the only chances I get um, to wear it again. Last night I managed to get to page 412 so I only have like just under 100 pages to read of Clockwork Prince before I'm done and I've heard that the epilogue of this is very sad so we're going to find out! It is a bit later on Wednesday now and I just had this really big feeling that I wanted to talk to the vlog so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday or if I dreamt it but I was telling you how I lost my makeshift bullet journal and it turns out I haven't. I found it um, just on my um, on my little TV cabinet that my TV and all my technology shit in and DVDs are on. So I have found my very, very, very ambitious April TBR. And I thought I would just go through it with you, give you a reading update, give you an update of what happened today, and then go and do some studying. The first book that I need to like get off the TBR before I start talking about it is obviously Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, which is the second book in the Infernal Devices series, which I've been reading all week. Um, I've been reading this for a very long time. I am about 20 pages to the end. I'm on page like 476. I saw it in the gap. Um, and I literally have 20 pages left. I am on the last chapter and I can't read it until I've done some work. But I thought I would just go through my April TBR with you because I feel like it. If you don't know what a TBR is, it basically stands for to be read. Basically, what I want to read in April. So the next book I kind of want to move on to is Dumpling by Julie Murphy. No, I said that really weird. Dumpling by Julie Murphy, um, which has a Netflix original. Is it a movie or a series? I don't know. Netflix film. So it's on the cover. That's so annoying. Why can't I pull that off? So it has a Netflix film. And I really want to watch the Netflix film and I've been wanting to watch it for months so definitely gonna try and get around to this this month because me and Callum both want to watch this and I think I'm kind of stopping us from progressing in that area. And then we have a Twilight Saga book so I'm gonna try and read them all this year and this is New Moon obviously by Stephanie Meyer. I will be doing a whole reading New Moon for the first time video like I did on my booktube channel. <coughs> Wow. I did a whole uh, reading Twilight for the first time video over on that channel, so I'm going to do the same for New Moon. And then we also have Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mouch, which is the first book in the Throne of Glass series. I really wanted to make a whole reading this for the first time as well. So maybe I'll film one, but I won't read them back to back like it says on my list because um, I want to do a reading vlog of both of them. Maybe I'll film them one after the other and then post them at different times. I don't know but I want to do reading vlogs for both of them so I might push this back to May. Also the other one I'm kind of thinking of pushing back is Champion by Marie Lu which is the third book in the Legend trilogy. It was supposed to be a trilogy and now she's releasing a new book so I really need to read this one. The next book I can also see myself pushing back to May um, because I'm already reading a book from this universe and that is obviously City of Lost Souls which is the second to last Morlinton's book 
book that I've got to read and I'm so nervous for it. I'm really nervous for it because this is a chunker. This is actually quite thick, but City of Heavenly Fire is another fucking ball game. But I'm thinking of pushing this back to May because I was trying to do a Shadow Hunter book every single month and I have been doing that since January. This is one I definitely want to get to this month because it is so hyped and I've been recommended it profusely because I love mental health, awareness, I love contemporaries and this sounds like my type of thing. I want to read The Astonishing Curve After uh, by Emily XR Pan this month. This is on my like high priority TBR. I might section them into high priority and low priority like my own but this is definitely in high priority that I really really want to get to. The next one is also high priority as well and that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is a classic that has a, another TV series that about it and I really want to watch that. It's not very long but the writing is kind of high priority kind of like gonna procrastinate but one of the classics that i really want to get to and i want to get to more of the classics because i just kind of like collecting dust on my shelves and will be eventually unhauled the next two are very low priority and that is a reread of this mortal coil by emily savada i like this book um i think it was very not original but i thought it was a very good premise but i remember myself saying during the book two performance of where i read this um or the reading rush now i think it's called i thought that the idea was very good but the execution wasn't as good i won an arc of this core design which is the second book in the series a long time ago i think this one was scheduled to come out on the 1st of november 2018 so a very long time ago i probably won this just before that happened so maybe october last year this is not like solicited or anything i literally won this in a giveaway i think this is such a beautiful design this core design how i get it if i like it enough i'll buy the finished copy so that my copies look the same and they'll both have this kind of double helix design on them they look so good together this tbr is so ambitious and i'm literally drowning in books um so maybe help a girl out and comment down below some of the books on this list that I should probably prioritise this month. Please tell me what I should prioritise and what you think I'd enjoy more because I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling with what to read um, because I have so much <laughs> to read. Even though I'm scared of not having enough to read, but that's a whole other issue. That is my kind of like TBR portion of this section. I wanted to show you because I mentioned it yesterday and then I found my book, so it was fine. But yeah, let me know if you've read any of these. You probably haven't because it's going up on Shack Attack, not my actual booktube channel. But let me know uh, if any of the premises sound good, the covers even, or anything. Just tell me what I should prioritise. My throat, like, really hurts. Cam told me and promised me that his cough and his cold, um, they weren't contagious. But I beg to differ because I've been coughing like a motherfucker and my throat really hurts. I gave my EPQ thing in today. I'm not going to lie, I could have made more changes to it. Um, I got more criticisms and I fixed about... I would say a good like three quarters of them but the other quarter I just really couldn't be bothered and I've been uh, <laughs> told I've been working at a B on my coursework and I just gave it in. I changed everything else so I'm hoping maybe that was enough to just scrape me an A but if I get a B I'm totally fine with that. I am well aware that I could have done a lot more with my EPQ project today um, before handing it in but I decided to hand it in so I'm not stressing around on Friday the last day of term to get it in. I could just go in, do my psychology test, come back out again Read a bunch, revise a bunch, you get the idea. But yeah, give that in today. I thought I'd let you know because I've been kind of updating you on my revision and my studying and EPQ has been part of that for a very long time. So I thought I would tell you that I have given that in today. I haven't entirely finished. I've still got to uh, finish a presentation that I'll actually show you. And I've got to deliver that on the first Wednesday back, 24th, I think. And I'm scheduled to be second in the afternoon lesson. So I'm really actually excited to carry on doing my presentation. I've been doing it for three hours today already. I will show you it later when I eventually get around to working on it again. Um, maybe it won't be tonight because I spent a lot of time on it today. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll show you. I didn't post a video today, which is really odd because I normally am on the ball with it. But I was just so busy, it was Mother's Day, I didn't want to film anything. And now Ariana has dropped a new song, I'm going to react to it tomorrow. So it will be a day late and I apologise, but never mind, um, at least I'm getting a video up. I think I'm going to not worry about uh, getting videos up on specific days during exam season because it's just very stressful as it is. Um, I feel like I'm just, I'm just kind of making myself ill over stuff and making videos and posting them on time is one of them. So for the next, like, I don't know, it's April now until like for like two more months i think my schedule might be a bit funny so please 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 bear with me i think i'm gonna stick to my weekly vlogs being monday at 4 30 because i felt like that's a really good time to upload them but i think tuesday and wednesday videos are gonna kind of be more flexible as long as i get a book two video up at the start of the week and i mean channel video at the end of the week i really don't care I'm very sick of the minute um very exhausted very like all bunged up and my throat really hurts and i'm just gonna have a good old time get some reading done 
writing done and I need to survive exam season because it's just started and I'm already feeling sick. <laughs> We're gonna have to get this bread. Get this motherfucking bread. That's me the title of this vlog. Let's get this bread. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. It is the second to the last day of term, and someone has given me the cough and cold because I feel fucking awful this morning. But last night, I did manage to finish Clockwork Prince. I gave it a 4.5 because I really enjoyed it. Honestly, the characters and the world feel like coming home to me like I love them so much last year when I first read City of Bones for like the very first time I was like what the fuck I read the second one and was like what as well and then I read the third one and I instantly just clicked with it and I can't help but wonder what would have happened if I'd have stopped at book two and been like oh this series isn't for me I would have never read the Infernal Devices and that's just terrifying the reason why it didn't get a five stars from me is the fact that I feel like the story didn't really go anywhere apart from the added flares from Will so I feel like that's the only real difference we were still chasing the Magister and it kind of reminded me of uh, the plot on a valentine in a mortal instrument someone who doesn't like shadow hunters and is a shadow hunter and like wants to make supreme shadow hunter race it just kind of feels like she's repeating the same storyline but in a different era which i prefer this one um over um the mortal instruments but personally i feel like she's just repeating the same storyline i have dumpling in my bag i started it last night so i have to start on the bus i've literally read 10 pages which is like one chapter um just to get myself started with it. So I've got that in my bag. I'm going to be reading that today, trying to get to 100 pages. I'm also going to be doing a shit ton of psychology revision today because I have a psychology test tomorrow on the last day of term. So that's going to be great. And I go to college and then come back and do loads of revision. It's currently two o'clock. I got home from college about an hour ago. I had some lunch. I had some tea to try and like coat my throat because it really hurts. And I filmed a reaction video, a very quick one, uh, to post in a minute actually, I'm going to edit and post it today. In my video I was wearing this outfit and I've concluded that I don't like it after wearing it all day, which is great. I have dumpling downstairs, as I said out, it was in my bag earlier. I have dumpling downstairs. I'm currently on page 64, which means I've only really got 36 pages to read until I read 100 today, which is great. I think I might go and get it. So while my video is rendering and while it's importing the footage, I can get some reading done. Although it's not the best written or anything, it's really easy to read because the uh, chapters are so small. Willow Dean has let out a few breaths. She didn't realize that she was holding, if you get what I mean. <laughs> um, but I am okay, it's okay. It's not exactly the best. I feel like I very much so overhyped it in my head. I want all of my video stuff done by 4 p.m. Two hours to get a seven minute video rendered and uploaded. It doesn't seem that bad, but we're gonna see how we go and hopefully I can do it. <laughs> it is now 4 p.m. and my video went up about half an hour ago. I was just sitting here promoting it and reading and I managed to get to page 94 of Dumpling. I just, I'm not liking this as much as I thought I would. The romance in this is just awful. I don't like them together at all. They've known each other for like five seconds and she's already like head over heels in love with him. I don't think it's too realistic. I don't like that fact, but I think I'm gonna enjoy the later parts of the book. So I'm sticking with it at the minute, um, but I feel like it's one of those books where I don't like it by halfway. I'm not going to like it all the way. I'm gonna give it a bit of time to like develop and stuff like that because I'm not even 100 pages into it yet, but I am not enjoying it as much as I thought I would. I am currently working on my presentation that I told you about yesterday. I did tell you that I would show you what I've got so far, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So it starts with a video from ABC News about Eric Garner, and then we move on to this slide, which is my question for my dissertation and my overall project. So this is why did I choose my subject, university, passion, interest, and then relevant to modern society. And then we come to skills I have developed over my project, critical thinking, planning and organisation, research skills, decision making and independence. And then I've got a picture of um, the skill point thing from Sims because I can't play it at the minute because I'm obviously doing work and stuff like that. So um, I put a little skill point in thing for the skills I have developed. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just lame, okay? And then we come to research tasks, the advantages points. So basically the advantages that the online media world has why do people use social media lgbtq plus usage ethnic oriented usage careers and then i have some stuff about the research that i researched and then we have the disadvantages side so what disadvantages does the media world put for their users and realistic expectations we have a picture of zoella um social media addiction the um i can't remember what it's called the dopamine I can't remember what it's called, but that's dopamine. And then cyberbullies and trolling. And that is a very sad little emoji. And then here we have my primary research task. So not only did I 
do secondary research, which I just told you about. I've also done some primary research as well. So it just literally says it here. I did it with my primary research of my Twitter following, and I did a screenshot of that there. I then analyzed the data and put it into pie charts. My key findings, again, keeping up with the kids and having a meme on there. I was gonna have the GIF, but then the GIF got confusing because it wasn't video, so the PowerPoint was getting a bit confused. I love this, I think it's really cute. Um, so we have some key findings, the definition of social media, we have how many people uh, were using social media in 2017. And then we have the fact that the internet has no governing body. So all of these 39 million users we had in 2017 are impossible to regulate. We have some more key findings about the digital revolution. So this is about a blacksmith who introduced <laughs> the printing press. This is the guy. I've decided to put two pictures of him because people memed him. So basically this just says, oh, this just says um, what introducing the printing press uh, meant for Europe and how this just meant that we could mass produce and I did the different stages of the digital revolution um, so we got the printing press conversational uh, that was with um, telephones and telegraph recording this is one of the very first digital cameras that they ever had it is an Eastman Kodak uh, radio and TV and film and then we have a little old school thingy I'm also going to talk about here how we have only just really got digital editing into our like media landscape and they used to have to physically cut film reel and then we have some more about the digital revolution the fact that it's a slow process I did a lot of the digital revolution and then we have all of that good stuff we have a picture of them and then we have the meanings and shit hierarchy of needs Again, applying a media theory to social media. Some more key findings from my um, topic areas. Um, and then we have, I'm gonna have to change these because when I wrote these originally, um, obviously I hadn't actually fixed these things and there's still like strengths and weaknesses, but I fixed the weaknesses that are all here. Obviously I just need to add um, some more key findings remove that and then do some extra stuff at the end. I've been talking for way too long so my throat hurts again but I don't know when I'm going to stop doing this probably in about five minutes. I feel like I need to start working on this and go and do some psychology revision because I've got a psychology test tomorrow. Don't know how the fuck I'm going to be prepared for it when we have like two days notice but it's fine. I'm going to go downstairs make a fresh cup of tea and start working on my psychology stuff. Good boy. I have no voice. Good morning everybody and happy Friday. Yes my cold finger my jiggy is probably getting a little bit worse but i think it's because i just woke up so i don't know if that's the tea i was gonna film some videos today um for booktube and i still might do that i have about an hour and 40 minutes to get up to read through my notes for my test today um do some revision cards um try to fill on my vlog footage onto my laptop and then maybe film something when i get back oh my god i've lost my earring again no Oh, this always happens. Earrings always fall out in my sleep. I think it's just because I sleep really weird. This is my life, is finding earrings after they've fallen out in my sleep. I'm gonna get some breakfast. While I eat breakfast, I'm going to transfer vlog footage. And just so that I'm not completely doing nothing, not productive, I'm going to probably read through my notes while it does that. Or I will um, work on my presentation a little bit while it's doing that. But yeah, so good morning. I was supposed to get up at seven i'm just not like the type of person anymore and that's really sad but it's just the truth um but i'm gonna go downstairs get some breakfast and transfer some vlog footage while being productive good morning or rather afternoon everyone and happy saturday so yesterday went not as planned and we decided to go out and it wasn't very good my mum was going to go to this 90s night at the place where my boyfriend works um, with her friend but her friend cancelled and couldn't go so me and my sister decided to go with her really spontaneously um so we went and it wasn't that good she was really bored and it was really bad because although it wasn't mine in tears music either like it wasn't a cup of tea but it wasn't really what my mum was expecting and it was really like disappointing currently in spoons me and waverly have to go to work soon i got cramp in my leg this morning at like seven o'clock i woke up and it was cramping and i literally yelled out in pain again it's the second time this has happened in my sleep it's feeling much better now um i've only got a little bit of a limp when i woke up this morning it was really bad i just won't be running up or running down any stairs anytime soon because it still hurts to walk upstairs um but yeah we're in spoons i have ordered a mixed grill i mean we're gonna share some onion rings because we really like onion rings oh i wanted to give you a little bit of an update with my reading and my buying because i bought some stuff today i'm not gonna get it out of the bag because that's 
effort. I bought this really nice baseball shirt. It says the Friends logo on it and it's red and it's really cute and I really like it. Um, it's just really cute. I'm not going to get my book out because it's in my bag and I really can't bother with that shit. Um, but I'm on page 190 of Dumpling. Um, I am really struggling with it. I really, really want to put it down. I want to get to the end because a book too loves this book. A lot of people have tweeted me saying they like this book and I want to get to the end. I'm only like just under 400 pages so I'm only halfway. Um, just about halfway. I'm really not enjoying it. I feel like Willa Dean has become a little bit of a bitch um, and I've just got back to the point where she's entered the pageant and something happens with her best friend and she starts being like really bitchy about it saying that she can't have these opportunities because she's thin and she's skinny. I feel like she's just being a really bad friend, a bad person and I just don't want to read it anymore but I kind of don't want to DNF because it's like um, my second book in April I don't want it to be a DNF. I'm really trying to get through it um, but I think if I'm not feeling it by the end of the day then I have to DNF, even though I really don't want to. Say hi to the vlog. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm in Waterstones, you know, breaking the bank, and I just saw this. It's officially gone too far. I can't, I can't handle this. Hello everyone. It is currently Sunday, aka filming day. I've already filmed my booktube channel video for next week. So all I have to film is my main channel one, the channel one. Um, so I did my hair, I did my makeup, and now I'm about to sit down and film. I'm about to film a minute to discussion video, which will be out in a few days when you see this. So watch out for that but i want to close this vlog i know that i didn't really vlog yesterday but i have a feeling that i vlogged quite a lot throughout the week so me not really vlogging friday or saturday will kind of balance itself out with the fact that i over vlogged every other day so yesterday i told you that i bought a shirt and this is said shirt it's very cute it was not very expensive it doesn't fit my shape in the best way i'm not gonna lie and you can totally see my bra in real life because the material is really weird but i just thought i'd show you that and the two books that i brought yesterday first of all waverly purchased on shantae which means she got an exclusive bookmark for it from waterstones and because she already has one because tia gave her her bookmark when she bought Enchante, um, she gave it to me and it's really cute and it just says love, magic, revolution. I don't have any interest in reading Enchante because it's a retelling and I hate retellings, I'm not going to set myself up for failure like that and it's a big chunky book to sacrifice me not liking uh, retellings but I love the bookmark, I think it's really cute and I'm going to keep it just because I'm selfish. <laughs> so the two books that I bought from Watson yesterday are very polarised and they're very different from each other. The first one is Jack of Hearts by Elsie Rosen or Rosson, I don't know, um, but I've heard really good things about this on booktube and it's a very great way contemporary about this gay boy who runs a um, advice sex online advice column and he starts getting some really worrying messages um and i'm just i'm really excited for this one it kind of reminds me of sex education and i'm hoping that it gives him that kind of vibe and then the second one that i decided to pick up yesterday was the devouring gray by christine lynn herman i have heard nothing but good things about this it's got this creepy um vibe going on about it like the wicked deep and i really enjoyed the wicked deep more than i thought i would i'm not really 100 percent sure what this is about other than the fact that um, it's been compared to the wicked deep and i really really like the wicked deep and the fact that it's a murder mystery kind of with some witty elements and that's all i need to know i don't like murder mystery on its own but when it's paired with like witchy magical elements i love it so much i really want to go in this totally blind i'm gonna try not to do any research on it before i read it in probably october because i'm not really in the mood for spooky stuff right now but as soon as october comes around and the uh solace happens and everyone else is getting all spooky as well that's when i probably will pick this up as well as a load of spooky um other reads i've got on my shelves as well that i literally just waiting for october i'm still on page 190 of dumpling and i am trying so hard not to dnf because i find willa dean's character insufferable i don't want to read about her anymore i think that she's being a horrible person right now but then someone on twitter said that the book is all about being a good person and learning from your mistakes so i'm really trying with it but i kind of don't want to read it anymore it's really frustrating me and i haven't had the desire to pick it up ever since i spoke to you yesterday i do want to see it through and finish it because if it ends in the way that i think it's going to in like willa dean um becoming a better person that's great but i feel like that only works if she's actively trying throughout the book to be a good person when it's halfway through right now and she's still being a really shitty human being i'm a bit on the fence as to whether or not to dnf um 
dumpling on that i think if i don't read anything today either i'm definitely gonna have to put it down um but i might read for a bit after i've filmed and like while my videos are important and rendering and stuff um and see how we get i wanted to like it i really did but sometimes things don't go to plan and that's absolutely fine that's the tea on dumpling i'm not really enjoying it at all i think that maybe i'll enjoy the movie a little bit more because the movie doesn't require so much of my time um like a 400 page book and the character hasn't even like didn't been like oh wait i kind of am a shitty person by halfway through and i'm like mm. i feel like all the character development everyone thinks that willa dean goes through happens in like the last 50 pages and that's not a character arc that isn't a character development it's just cramming something at the end of the book to prove that she's not entirely a shitty person and i just it ain't it cheap. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you this week for all of my videos. If you would like to get in contact with me, my social medias are down below. But in video form, I will see you then. And yeah, see you then, I guess. One, four, three. Bye!